What is up, guys? Welcome to this week's Mock Monday. Sorry this took a lot. This one took a long while. If you're wondering why it did, well, um, here's the thing. Our our build for this week, our, my robot factory, is in our city. That's right. Me and Jaden are building a Lego city. As I'll show you this right now. I won't show you much more, much more of it. But but me and Jaden will give you a full tour once we're finished building it. Real quickly, though, so we can do this week's Mock Monday. We'll take this off the base plate and bring it over here. And I just broke it already. <laughs> Whoops. That was not supposed to happen. Tanya, did you get a bone? Oh, the puppies. Anyway, so for this week's Mock Monday, we have the Robot Factory. This is the last build for this month of uh, time travel month, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Anyway, let's get started and to this. So I built this with a blue color scheme, all kinds of blues, not really restricting it. I used all different kinds of blues here if you look. It looks really beautiful on the outside, honestly, especially this front wall. You can see with the stripes I have going along here. Um, I didn't have entirely all uh, pieces. You can see minifigure in there. So I had to use some of these black wall panel pieces here and there, there, but they're not too much on the build. I tried to use very little of them. As you can see, most of the design and walls and whatnot are from the walls, or uh, from blues. <laughs> I can't speak, but yeah. So moving along, I'm gonna start here on the top of the roof. You can see I have this cool pattern design with these. Uh, shaped uh, corner slopes around here. I have them on these uh, rooftop pieces for these car roof pieces. A bunch of these going around here. One smooth thing. So it looks really nice. And a little satellite dish. I think it's pretty cool. It's just on there by a hinge. But uh, yeah, as you can see, the roof removes. How it works is there's a stud. There's two studs and the whole roof is tiled off. So you can see inside the robot factory, which it's kind of hard to see, which is some of the details, which is why. Oh, yeah. And also, real quick, before I get too carried away, doors open. They're kind of weak doors, though. I actually have door pieces to use when I built this, because I, I do now, but I didn't when I built this. So they're just kind of like weird door pieces I built. There's these... Just this on a hinge plate, but it works, semi, kind of. It works, kind of. But yeah, you can see that up. You can see uh, I had this archway I had for the door here, but it was too tall. But there's like too tall, tall of a doorway, so I made the tall, doors taller. But then I was like, wait, and I was able to. Wait a minute, I, have, I found these slopes and I was able to fill in that gap and I think it looks pretty cool. Um, you can see there's windows all around top here. I, I know I removed the robe so soon, but I, I haven't finished the exterior. There's windows all around the top to let in some natural light so you can see and also these. I didn't have window pans to fill in the windows so I just left them empty. I think it lets in more light though. But uh, yeah, I showed you. I wanted to give it like this, I didn't want to make it too, look too symmetrical or uh, too symmetrical or whatnot. So I tried to make the details on each side different. So you can see here, it's two different pieces for on each side. Have the slopes, some more slopes. There's a lot of slopes on this because I have a lot of those slope pieces. A lot of turquoise pieces and big brick cup parts, surprisingly. They, they give you a lot of turquoise pieces for some reason. So you end up getting a lot from that. Uh, on this side, well, I had a lot of these one by sixes, so I used them along this wall. You can also see them, I used them on the corners and also um, there, but yeah, I have this cool stripe pattern. I only have one by two, so you can see it's a little uneven, but I actually like it, it's fine. Another car roof piece, only half though. Here. Around the back, uh, not too many details here, uh, just two windows, uh, sort of some, uh, Two by two circles, circle, uh, circular plates, uh, details. Not much, there's a window. 
And then finally on this wall, just a pattern of these roof and these, I don't know what you call these, motor, it's like headlight pieces. But yeah. And then as I showed you before, there's these on every corner, which they're just on there by a one by one snot brick. It has studs on two corners on those two sides. Now, now finally we can get to the interior, which is my favorite part of this, besides the exterior. This is like one of my favorite builds I've done, my, probably one of my best ones I've done. But, so, you can't access the interior that well from the roof, which is why, if you look back here, I need the back wall removable with these hinge, with these, uh, the hinge plates, these, uh, plates. And, uh, actually I actually like how that turned out where I made it, so it's, like, completely how I built it, because you, can, you can, can't even really tell that it's up one, one higher than the rest of the build, because they're all same level, not, I don't know how to explain it. But, uh, yeah. Oh, no! We lost a guy. And obviously, if you look inside here, I, I took hev, heavily took inspiration from uh, the B3s, both of their robot factories, mostly. The only thing I really can take credit for is this generator thing I built back here. Out of these blue circular pieces, I can reach it. If I can reach in and get it, I can't. Yeah, I can't get it. My fa my fingers and hands are too big. Um. That's the only thing I really take, take credit for, uh, originality. The rest of this, I guess kind of the computer design, but yeah. So we have Sparky back here and the robot repair tech. Uh, we have uh, <laughs> the Muppet dudes, I can't remember their names. And then we have the uh, robot, the robo robot costume girl from the Series 23 in here as well. So uh, yeah, thanks very cool. Right here we have the factory line. I didn't actually have a, the right pieces for it, so I used one of these car pieces, these tiny little go-kart pieces. And I just made like a factory line on that. You can see I got some details on the sides, a bunch of random bits and pieces that are gonna be assembled into something. I don't know, ground, much gray, gray pieces. Uh, you can see there's a line running from the uh, generator I made back there all the way to the factory line, the uh, conveyor belt, uh, that's what I meant. And then up here we have a catwalk with the two many figures. There's a staircase, um, one of these rail pieces uh, with a chair. Not much to it, a few pieces, not too much to it. I didn't have much interior room, but uh, it's all right because it, that's made up for with the amount of detail I put in there and the exterior on the detail, detail on the exterior. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So you just, we're not supposed to break off that. <laughs> You just put the back wall back on. It goes back on there pretty easily, too. Same with the roof, because it's a... Uh, for some reason, this one stud on this corner comes up, but this one doesn't. It's very weird. Don't know what goes on there. And, uh, yeah. Slide it back on, and boom. You have the robot factory, which I think looks pretty cool. I don't think I'll be destroying this one anytime soon. I've already destroyed the bar. If you look over there, uh, you'll probably see the destroyed ruins of the barn. Actually, I think it's completely destroyed. And I destroyed the cave already. So this is the only one that's left. Um, not including the Tanta 4 hallway, because I need that for my stop motion. But uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're around here. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss another video. And I just realized the front of this looks like a face. Nice and safe back home.